do this, that's not going to help us terribly. Uh, what really helps is uh, this, because now you can actually say, you can say uh, from this that 5 sine theta is going to equal 2.4, which means sine theta is going to equal, uh, let's see, 2.4 divided by 5 is going to be 0 0.4. Eight, which is almost 0.5, so I'll bet you this is going to be just about 30 degrees. So let me come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So a sine of uh, 0.48. I'm using another computer. Is oh, I don't want it in radians immediate. Let's see. Point in degrees. There we go. 28.7 degrees. Okay. So what that means then? is that theta equals 28.7.7 degrees. And that is, in fact, the angle that Mr. Forbes has to point the boat. So he points at 28.7 degrees. And now that we've made this uh, vector addition statement, I really ought to actually draw this out. So uh, this was VBS here. This is VBW. And the, uh, sorry, VBW, and then the last one was uh, velocity of the water with respect to the shore. And that's this one just up here. And so now this plus this equals this. And you can see this all works out, and this is uh, the angle Mr. Forbes has to point the boat at. Uh, so he's got to point it 28.7 degrees towards upstream from directly across, if you wanted to actually describe it. Okay, so that is uh, how you do that kind of problem. Um, there is actually another way to do it. Now, maybe I'll make another video that shows the alternative way to do it because it's kind of an interesting thought exercise, and sometimes it can it can help you. Uh, sometimes it can make these problems a little easier. Okay.